Hi, I'm Rex with Cliven Wild, and today we're going to be catching big old catfish and canoe camping. Let's go do it. We're in Louisiana, about to go canoe camping on the bayou. We have all of this to get into a canoe. Ron, Ron might accuse me of not being minimalist. Well, but I, there was no way I was going to go camping without my heart going. <laughs> we're loading up. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's load up. Do it. We don't have fancy dry bags, so we're going to use what we have, and that is contractor bags. Throw it in. There. Forecast said that it wasn't going to rain, and it's already starting to drizzle. All right, all of this, it's all got to go into there. We're leaving our rig at a campground and the folks next to us are the campground hosts and they have a canoe and they're letting us borrow it. And now we're getting ready to load up and we're gonna head out. <laughs> I feel like I need some time to do some experimenting here. <laughs> Wish us luck! <laughs> See you in a month. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? We'll send food. Oh, <laughs> I packed plenty. We could last out here for weeks. Keep oh, on the log. Right Gator. And a big turtle. And a big turtle, yeah. And I saw the turtle, turtle first. I wish we could go a little fast. Big gator right there. Land. Oh geez, yeah, that is a big one. That's a big one. Two gators and one turtle. Let's keep let's keep note. Yeah, that's Two bad. gators and one turtle. All right. Our, this big tent doesn't. Nice in my back. Okay. Okay, we're turning around. We're turning around because we forgot one very important item. Wor worms. <laughs> We're paddling upstream into a headwind for worms. <laughs> Very important worms, though. Very important, which we have three more, Dad. So we can get past the I forgot the fishing bait. <laughs> I knew it had to be something. <laughs> what? Coming back for the worms. Brace yourselves. Use your, use your You got the worms? Send me the worms. Two boxes of worms coming up. You go leave the valley. Take Can I have a second soda, Dad? Okay, I'm coming in, everybody. Brace yourselves. Go fast. I got Take two. Right. Hopefully, you won't be seeing us again today. No matter what, right? That's right. I'm just going to pretend this was deja vu. Good one, Dad. Five gators and three turtles so far. Do you want to know where that thing is going? Good memory. We've got a little bit of a late start. It's starting to get dark. We've yet to find our campsite. <laughs> So we might be setting up in the dark, or we might be finding a place that's a non-designated campsite. Make it work. And we've got a spotlight. So. We've got a spotlight and headlamp. A couple, at least six. We think we're back on, well, we've been on the trail, but we think we see where we are, and we are almost to our site. I think that's us. We found our spot. Ooh, that's Yay. Yay. Look at that. Yay. In, boys. Take us in. How's it going, Lisa? Great. Here's our little camping cove. There's a gator. Right we made there. it. Look, and there are gators, gators everywhere. Th th those things are gigantic. Gator. gator. That one's a big one. Gator back there. Ten feet. Those all must be at least ten feet. Those yeah, that one's giant. good size. We got one on land. I'm gonna pull us back so that when we got here, we checked out the 
tent pad and it's in pretty rough shape. It's uh, lumpy and there's no boards across the top of it. There's a fire pit down here and a table. But if you come around the corner here, there's a really sweet little spot in here. And it has fire pit and a nice flat area. So we'll set our tent up in here. Insects are really coming alive. So Louisiana in the bayou and you'd think mosquitoes would be horrible, but there's really none out right now because it's February. So maybe a little later they'll probably start coming out, but for now it's been okay. I wouldn't want to be here in June though. All right, we're going to set up. I'm going to start going here. Oh my gosh, there's a old rope swing here. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. Uh, who the heck would rope swing into this? Well, probably only one person ever did it. <laughs> well, this is home for the night. We paddled probably a couple of miles from where we launched the canoe and we're out here on what they call Little Crawfish Bayou and uh, we're setting up camp. We're going to make some food and uh, have a night with the gators. You can see all the water back in here. It's all little bits of backwater. Um, just full of gators. Take a walk over here to where uh, the bigger water is and the actual bayou is. We'll see if there's a gator or two over here. Oh yeah, there's two already. Look at this muck rub. Nice deer trail coming up here on this high finger ground. Nice big old buck rub from a Louisiana buck. And right out here, you've got at least two gators moving around feeding in the evening. It's about, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour before dark. See how the pumping session's going. Are you pumped up? <laughs> Good one pumped up and pumping up number two. <laughs> All right, it's morning here on Crawfish Bayou, and we're going to go check our, uh, we left our food and stuff all over here on this platform, and all night long I could hear gators over here splashing and carrying on. They're feeding on something, I'm not sure what, but they were coming to the surface of the water, and I could hear other critters like raccoons and stuff about, so I'm going to come over and see how our food fared. Okay, so far, everything is just as we left it, and the gators are just where we left them. So, Uh-oh, what do we have coming this way? Fishing. That, got that, a fella out here that, catching our that breakfast. old stinking gator out there won't let me fish. Oh, no good. Who wants strawberries? Too hard. Can I do anything to help? Oh my god. 
Got him! Oh, no. Don't go into the water. Look at that. Yes! All right! Yes. High five! Oh, Woo! Yeah. All right. That's a nice. biggie! Yeah. Look at that Morgan breakfast. Okay. Did you Rick's got a big fat fish! Got channel cat. Cool. So with these catfish, they got they have poisonous spines right there. You don't want to poke your finger on that. Or they they have one there and there on those fins. I don't know if you can oh, see they them. Poke you. Okay. They poke you. So what 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 I always do is whoop. Slide your finger underneath there, underneath the fin. And then let go. Alright, hook him. Throw him back. Throw him back. There we go. Maybe I'll cut this side. Keep fishing. Keep fishing. Always keep fishing. He didn't put out much of Is that gator coming to check out your mm. bobber? I'm getting to the gag. There he goes. Cut it off. Oh, he's oh, down. No. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that shows you how fast those things can go. Did you? Did he? Oh, he let the whole thing go. Ah! Oh, he let the ah. whole thing go, but. Good. Well, what an interesting experiment. Well, oh, he did crunch the. I heard it break. Let me see. Oh my. There's not much left. Well, That's what a gator does to a bobber. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really funny. But he didn't eat the worm or the hook or right. anything. He went for the, the brightly colored bobber. <laughs> Thank you, Gaya. Thank you. <laughs> so okay. meat. Breakfast. A lot of meat. Meat, a lot of meat. <laughs> All right, Leela's going to put a worm on. Let's see how she does. I'm just going to Just use it. Oh, I got worm poop on my new pants. Ew. Did this poop on you? Mm-hmm. It's just, it's oh. just biodegraded soil. You basically just want to thread the worm onto the hook okay. like this. Push it, keep pushing it down the shank of the hook. You just push on as much as I want. Okay, now that's a lot of worm on a hook. So you can either choose to leave it there or you leave can that. pinch a little bit of that off. So you just kind of conserve your worms a little leave bit. That. Lila wants to leave it there. So we're going to leave a big, jangly, delicious worm for a mm. catfish. All right. Nice job. All right. So we're out here on a catch and cook in Louisiana along a bayou. Um, Rex caught a really nice catfish that we're going to have for breakfast along with some eggs. But we forgot to bring our fillet knife with us. And so what I'm going to do, um, multi-tools are great handy things to have whenever you're camping. They're great survival tools. They're not great fillet tools because the knife on a Leatherman or any multi-tool is really stiff and that's no good. But hey, we're going to give it a go. If you have trouble holding on to a fish or anything else when you're trying to clean it, a paper towel or a rag really helps with the because you can kind of keep the slime down a little bit. Now, since I don't have a fillet knife, I'd normally go in here and turn the knife sideways and come down along the edge. I don't have that, so I'm going to do a little something different. I'm going to come straight in from along the spine and then try to make my flat cut. There we go. Got to try to keep this as close to the spine as we can. We don't want bones, but we don't want to waste any fish either. You can probably hear that spine in there. Now we're going to make a little cut right here. Like this. And then we're going to lay the knife flat again. And this is where the fillet knife comes in because it's flexible and kind of works through all of this. We don't have that possibility with this knife. We got a nice fillet there, and again, because we don't have something flexible, I'm having difficulty, but I'm going to get this fillet off. There we go. There we go. Now, 
fold this whole fillet over after it falls on the ground. <laughs> interrupt this program to bring you footage of Ron successfully filleting fish. We now return to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, well it turns out a Leatherman with its stiff knife is not a great fillet tool, but we did manage to get a couple of nice fillets off the catfish that Rex caught. And we're going to go over and fry it up on the pan over the fire with some eggs, and that'll be our breakfast. All right, let's do it. Here's breakfast. All right. <laughs> eggs, leftover potatoes, and catfish from the bayou. We didn't get a, as much meat off of this as we probably would have with a perfect fillet knife, but we did okay. When in doubt, add butter. Mm -hmm. Picking the grit out? Picking the grit. Some of it ended up on the forest floor, so it got a little bit of grit. <laughs> the grit never hurt nothing. A little dirt didn't hurt. You're hungry. Yeah, fish, eggs, potatoes, and sausage for oh, breakfast. Yeah. Coming in. We'll put you and Rex over here. Come on up, Lila. I have you here. Okay. Oh, do you want this? I want this. No. I want this. Here's your cup. Do you want? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Hey, that's not what you're sitting. It is now. <laughs> Dad can't get back up. This table, I don't know who this is made for, but this is a uh, very small table. Yeah. This is good, Rex. Okay, camp is coming down. We're breaking everything down, getting ready to get out of here. Heart pillow is secured. <laughs> Ron's taking down the tent. Kids are running through the woods. We're gonna put our fire out. Leela's in charge. She's ready. Oh. The aftermath. What do you think we could have done done without? The kids? 